welcome, welcome to another exciting Transfer Express webinar. Today, we are talking about the transfer advantage and gang sheets. And I'm just going to uh, introduce myself here while we wait for a few more people to come on in and join us here today. My name is Dave. I am a marketing specialist here with Transfer Express in Menor, Ohio. Um, and and I'm so happy to, oh, look at everybody coming in here. I'm so happy to see everybody coming in today. Uh, we've got a really powerful webinar today that's really going to make a difference uh, for you and your t-shirt business, whether you are just a crafter or you're doing stuff on, on the side or you are running a full-fledged t-shirt business, custom printing, or if you're running your own brand, these are incredibly helpful tips on how to order transfers, maximizing your profit, all about gang sheet printing, regardless of if you're doing the Plastisol screen printed transfers or digital transfers with our ultra color line. A lot of good information in here. Wow, Florida, South Carolina, Montana, Texas. We're going to be coming down to Texas here soon for the uh, applique getaway and impression show. Hope to see you at some of those shows. Now that trade show uh, season is back in full swing. It's so nice to get out on the road and be doing. Uh, you know, kind of these webinars, but in person with you guys, giving hands-on demos. So if you head over to the Transfer Express uh, events page, you can see where we're going to be this summer and all the shows that we're attending. We would love to see you guys. We love interacting with the community, and we love getting inspired by you guys and hearing your stories and, uh, you know, modifying even our product line to see how it could help you the best. Um, of course, we always have our uh, YouTube channel going and uh, content dropping on that every single week uh, from helpful business tips to uh, product education or inspiration to kind of get some ideas for some extra business opportunities that you might not be thinking about. So Euclid, Ohio, right around the corner, right around the corner. You might as well come on down <laughs> and, and join us in person. I, I would love to do these in person. And I, I was in uh, at the uh, Graphics Pro Expo in Indiana just a couple weeks ago, and it was so exciting to be back uh, and doing these kind of webinars uh, in, in classes kind of in person. So I guess they're not webinars if they're in person, right? <laughs> but it looks like we got a good amount of people in here, so we will get started. If you do join us late, um, you will be able to access this webinar later. Like I mentioned, our YouTube channel, of course, we put all of our webinars up there. So if there's one in the past that you missed, you could just go on on over to our YouTube channel and check it out. We put everything up on the YouTube. Um, we'll be emailing everybody uh, a copy uh, of this webinar after everything ends here to make sure that you could go back and check everything out. Um, and so, yeah, without further ado, let's get started here talking about one of my favorite things about transfers, and that is gang sheets. So today we are covering a jam-packed agenda, and I'm going to try to keep this in about an hour time frame. If you do have to leave, of course, you could come back and watch it later, um, but I would love for you guys to stick around. We're going to have some questions at the end, and I'm going to hopefully be able to demo some questions if you do have any issues or if you're stuck on something. We have a brand new uploader tool that we'll be covering today, so if you have any questions, I'd love to live demo that for you here at the end. I just want to make sure we get through all of the content first. So we're going to talk about what a gang sheet is. And if you're familiar with the printing industry, uh, I have 10 years of experience in the printing industry from T-shirts to business cards, offset printing, uh, stickers, everything. So gang sheets are really how like offset printing is uh, cost effective to do is that they group a whole bunch of orders up on one sheet and they're able to print those on humongous sheets, then cut them down and it reduces the cost for everybody. But in our case that we're talking here for transfers, it is reducing the cost for you and giving you some extra business opportunities and extra real estate to print. So we're going to talk about how gang sheets could help your business. And by helping your business, I mean maximizing profit, giving you extra selling business opportunities to get more business into your pocket. Uh, we're going to talk about how you could add inside tags or free branding for your own business and putting extra designs or being able to sell uh, that extra space. We're also going to talk about how to order your gang sheet. I did kind of briefly touch on our new uploader, which is one way to be able to do it. And we also have our easy view online designer that we're very proud of here at Transfer Express, where you can't you can not only design in the program, but you could also gang sheet your designs in the program, whether you're using our artwork and layouts or your own. But we're going to walk through all that and I'll tell you how to do it. Then we'll cover some helpful tips to maximize your dollar and get you the lowest printing price for whatever your project is. So are you ready? 
I'm ready. Cindy, don't worry that you're late. We are just getting started. You didn't miss anything too important um, except my introduction, which I think is the most important. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, <laughs> we'll get going here. Um, so a gang sheet is a custom transfer sheet with more than one image on it. Like here that we're looking at, there is a whole bunch of different graphics here from a full uh, full front if that basketball is going down the side um, to the names, a uh, some spirit wear items, the state of Texas home. There's all of these different prints that you could combine onto one sheet and then just cut them out yourself and be able to place them uh, on the same garment or different garments. And so when you start to pack more things onto these sheets, the lower and the lower per piece cost uh, drops. So if you know you only have one on this sheet and the, the price per sheet is five bucks and it's just $5 per print. But as soon as you put all of these on here, it could drop as low as just cents under a dollar per print. And that's something that you can't get with traditional screen printing or direct to garment or uh, even like direct to film printing. Uh, you're printing out on one roll and you're kind of just uh, at the mercy of the sheet. Here at Transfer Express, all of our transfers in the screen printed line and our ultra color transfers come on gang sheets. So our standard size we call just because our goof proof transfer, our screen printed transfer, uh, is the uh, most popular. Our standard size is an 11 and a half by 14. That also includes our hot split transfers if you like that soft feel. If you're printing on polyester or any uh, kind of that stretchy garment, uh, Under Armour type material, our last prints come on the same size, 11 and a half by 14. Glow in the dark, pearl, all of those effects, all that screen printed 11 and a half by 14 inch size. Our ultra color transfers are full color digital process prints. They are really super awesome, have a soft hand feel and just apply just beautifully 11 and a half by 18 inches. So you get a little bit of extra space onto those sheets where you could almost fit two huge full front graphics um, as, you know, as long as they're nine inches wide, which is just about a full front size, you can fit them side by side on here. So this is just one example. and We're going to be getting in uh, a little bit more depth into that later. So let's cover our ultra color gang sheets first. I mentioned this is a full color transfer. So you can see here on this transfer sheet on the right hand side, we are not limited by colors in any way. You could do details, gradients like the butterfly wings behind the dancer. All of those, it's just just limitless. There's no quality difference with the detail or you're not going to be losing any of those uh, like fades like around that moon and the cactuses and stuff. Cacti? I don't know. <laughs> We're having fun today. But uh, and like in the tie-dye pattern in the background, there's just no limit to what you could accomplish with these ultra color transfers. Really, really cool stuff. And when you group them on a gang sheet, you don't have to worry if somebody's somebody's logo is blue and somebody else's logo is red and white. We're not counting colors. So there's no limitation how many colors you could have on one sheet. You could use the entire 11 and a half by 18 inch area. Now, since we're talking about gang sheets, you can also order our ultra color gang just by itself, ultra color soft or the stretch or stretch with blocker, depending on the substrate you're printing on. You can uh, print those just as a single image. But we're talking about gang sheets today and the cost effectiveness of printing gang sheets. Sometimes you don't need it. So I did want to mention that. But um, you could cut apart all of these. Uh, and so you could provide as much room or as little room as you want. On our gang sheet transfers, we do offer a cutting service. Uh, and it's just 10 cents per cut. Uh, but we do recommend that you have at least a half inch in between each individual element. So on this one, where everything's not a straight line, we wouldn't be able to cut artwork like this, but I don't know about you. I have scissors, I have uh, X-Acto blades, and the transfer sheets are really super easy to cut, even with dull scissors. Uh, my wife doesn't let me use the nice stuff, so I'm always at the mercy of using whatever's around. And I can tell you all of the transfer sheets, whether it be the paper that the uh, screen printed transfers come on, or even these ultra color transfers, it's a little bit more plasticky um, of a carrier sheet, and that cuts completely fine. So really, really easy to cut. But if you don't, if you want to save time, we could cut them for you. So, uh, yeah, the tip here, you want to cut apart. So give them a little bit of room. We've seen people just pack everything you can onto a gang sheet. And while it's saving them money per print, uh, it may slow them down a little bit with cutting. So how much is your uh, time worth? Um, you could also set these up in portrait or landscape when you are laying them out in our Easy View Online Designer which makes it really easy to kind of just make sure that you could fit everything on there. Like 
The senior logo, if we turn this vertical, might not be able to fit uh, you know, across the sheet. So here, laid down, we're able to fit a little bit more onto the sheet. Now we'll move on and we'll talk about our screen printed transfers. Now this is the bread and butter. It is the product that I absolutely love because it looks and feels like a traditional screen printed t-shirt and you can't tell that it's a transfer, which just completely blows people's minds. Being out uh, at the Graphics Pro Expo and you know talking with actual screen printers, they're feeling the quality and they're applying goof proof screen printed transfers themselves and they cannot believe that it's a transfer. So uh, a lot of customers don't really care how the sausage is made they just want the final product uh, and it doesn't matter that it's a transfer or it's a, a direct to screen print uh, kind of shirt so these are absolutely awesome transfers but enough about my love for the actual product we have here let's get back to the uh the gang sheets so these are unlike the ultra color transfers because we have to do it by color so as you can see here this is a one color transfer all of the artwork on this sheet is this purple color and purple ink. So if we wanted to do two colors, we absolutely could, but the price is going to go up every single ink color that we add. Now our screen printed transfers are not offered by the image size, they only come on a gang sheet. So we always want you to maximize your space, maximize your printing cost by fitting as much as you can onto the sheet. And even if you don't have a whole bunch of different artwork, uh, that you want to fill onto it and you're only doing one, uh, you say one like left chest graphic at a four and a half by four and a half size. We absolutely can do that. And if you just give us one file, we'll actually automatically gang sheet it for you. So if you needed 50 pieces and you could fit, uh, you know, two up, if it's uh, kind of like this buck hollow graphic at the top here, if you could, if you needed 50 pieces and you could fit two on a sheet, we're not going to charge you for 50 sheets we're going to charge you for 25 sheets and you're still going to get 50 images so we, we're always looking out on how you can make money and of course at transfer express we want to see you succeed and so reducing the print cost and maximizing your profit is what we are all about like i said earlier this is an 11 and a half by 14 inch area and you can uh you could use the entire sheet it doesn't have to be the same artwork it could be different artwork it doesn't have to be the same size could be different sizes but if you want it to be all the same artwork at all the same size we could absolutely do it too so joseph i see that you ask uh, how do we auto gang sheet for us so we'll get into it a little bit later but we do have two ways to to upload your artwork so in our if you're supplying your own artwork in our upload artwork section on our website it's going to ask you the size and giving us the accurate size is actually going to help us accurately find figure out how many are going to fit up on one sheet and then we have our staff of designers who will take your artwork, lay it out on the sheet for you, and we'll send it directly to the screen room to be printed. Now, if you do it in EasyView Online Designer and you design something in EasyView, based on the size that you have it set up, when you go to purchase, it'll actually show you a preview of how many will fit on a sheet. And there's calculators that we've spent a lot of time on that run in the background to be able to maximize the print area of these gang sheets. So Joe, I hope that answered the question there for you. Now we're gonna go into how you upload your gang sheet. So if you are a graphic designer or you know, you know enough to get in trouble, which is <laughs> what I say sometimes, is if you're using Photoshop, CorelDRAW, Affinity Designer, Adobe Illustrator, even if you're getting uh, you know, into Adobe InDesign or anywhere you make your graphics, if you could export a uh, a PNG, a TIFF, a PDF, JPEG, um, anything, any one of those files, you could supply directly to us. So you could set your artboard up to 11 and a half by 14, and you could go through and lay your artwork out on your artboard or canvas or, you know, whatever it's called in whatever program you're using, and then just export that at 100% size, 300 DPI, and get it on over to us. Of course, we always prefer vector artwork, but we know not everybody has uh, the tools or the know-how or experience to export print-ready vector artwork. And that's why we have a full staff of designers ready to help you guys out. So you could use your full sheet size from any art program and you'll head on over to transferexpress.com slash upload. If you're also on our website, page it's right at the top there's transfers names and numbers design center upload artwork apparel uh, and heat presses in that top global menu you could just click on upload artwork it'll take you right to this page here 
Now, this is our brand new uploader. So if you haven't been uh, to the site or haven't ordered transfers, or maybe you use EasyView all the time, uh, this just released this week. And it's a really, really cool tool that's super helpful and able to get you through ordering and getting you the right product. And now you could actually add it to your cart um, whereas before it kind of came through to us, uh, a customer service rep had to contact you. Uh, and so we removed all of those steps so you could order this, cutting your turn time down and helping answer any questions about uh, what transfer type. It will even recommend what transfer type is right for you um, and kind of break down the actual differences between the screen print, full color um, and everything there. Now, the new tool is not able to uh, gang multiple images. So if you do have multiple images that you're up uploading, You'll have to arrange them on a gang sheet yourself before you upload them. Or just like here on the right-hand side, you see multi-file artwork ordering, and you're able to go over to uh, EasyView Online Designer. You could add your art right in EasyView, size your specific designs appropriately to what you need, and then you'll be able to uh, order that and add it to your cart and get everything ready to go. It's really cool because uh, if you are kind of laying it out, it'll show you a proof of what your transfers are going to look like. And you won't have to pay for a designer to send you a proof and go through the approval process. You'll see an instant proof. When you click add to cart, you're approving that proof of your gang sheet and you're going to move right through and we're going to cut days out of the production schedule. Um, and we know everybody wants it there fast. Uh, we are Transfer Express, so it's in our name that we want to get it to you fast um, on time and send you quality. So uh, we're just trying to put all these systems in place to be able to help you out. Um, Mark, I don't know if my help helper behind the scenes, Mike, was able to answer for you, but we accept raster, bitmap, uh, any kind of file you could send us, the PNGs, TIFFs, JPEGs, we will accept them. It doesn't have to be vector. Um, so just keep in mind, though, because there is screen printing here where you, where you will select your inks. Um, and it says recommended for one to two color printing. And that's really just where the cost effectiveness starts to switch over to the full color transfers. You, I think we've done up to like 20 color screen prints. So if you want to do it, we will do it. But just remember when you're, when you're uploading an ultra color order, be sure that you have all of your colors set over to CMYK. Uh, just so they don't shift and get a little weird and then you receive your transfers and they're a little bit more uh, darker colored or they're slightly off tone than what you were expecting. And so uh, if you're unfamiliar, RGB is the color space that we use for screens. Um, and that's really light. So it's uh, red, green, blue. Um, and all of those colors combined make white. Whereas CMYK is cyan, magenta, yellow, and key or black. And all of those combined make black. Uh, so uh, it's just the different way that colors work. There's a whole bunch of science behind it. I'm not a scientist, but um, as a, you know, having a design background, I understand the difference in them uh, on screen. If you're looking at any web images, uh, this presentation right here is presented in RGB. Uh, but if we were to print it out, it's obviously going to look a little bit darker because the colors that you see here are out of gamut, um, which are out of the uh, capabilities of the uh, color mode. So just make sure they're in CMYK for the most accurate, true to true colors from what you see to what you're uploading. Um, so uh, Dawn, I don't know uh, where exactly you're looking to choose ultra color transfers, but on the first step here on the uh, up, uh, artwork uploader, um, the full color is the ultra color. So right in the middle, make sure you click on the full color and that'll take you to the ultra color line. If you're looking for the screen printed transfers, those are only going to be screen printed and you won't see ultra color. But at any step in the process, when you're going through this new art, art, uh, artwork uploader, you could see the timeline at the top where right now it's just a little blue arrow on print method. You could click back and go back in the process or you can't really go forward in the process if you haven't already been there. But you could go back into the process at any time and change all of your uh, configurations. So if you're getting stuck there, you could go on back. Um, John, the gang sheet size is 11 and a half by 18 for ultra color or ultra color stretch line for screen printed transfers. It's 11 and a half by 14. Yep. I see Mike just answered that in the uh, comments there as well. So we'll continue on here to our next step. So once you, I'm actually going to go back and say, uh, let's click on screen print. So once you click on screen print, it's going to ask you how many colors you want. And then you're able to select, I want one color, two color, three color. If you just select full color, it's going to skip that process says all together. So then you'll go to the next step here, which you see is the second green, which is going to be fabric type. 
Uh, and then once you select that, it's going to be 100% cotton or polyester. It just helps us recommend a product for your project. So if you're printing on a 100% polyester that will say Elastoprints, even this system, the artwork uh, uploader, is going to recommend that you use Elastoprints because it's made for those 100% polyester, those heat sensitive garments. Um, and if you've ever printed on 100% polyester, you know that the majority of them are heat sensitive and you want to get that temperature below 300. So the Elastoprints applies at a much lower temperature, it has a much more stretch to it than the goof proof. So your project looks the best that it can. But we'll get to enter quantity. Um, if you are doing sheet size, enter how many sheets. If you're doing just a, a single image, like we had talked about with uh, it, with either it auto ganging a uh, gang sheet here for you, like auto laying out your files. So you really just want to say, if you're entering a full sheet, enter how many sheet sizes you need. And if you're entering one image that you want to be gang sheeted for you, uh, tell us how many images you need, because it's going to price this all based on that, and it will auto gang uh, the sheet for you based on the sizing of your artwork. After you select your quantity, it's going to kick you over here to your transfer type. So here you can see uh, this is the screen printed configuration for this example. It'll show you the goof proof transfer, which is our number one recommended transfer. 100% uh, cotton, cotton poly blends, uh, even some tri blends. But uh, depending on the elasticity of it or heat sensitivity, you may want to move over to the elastoprints. Uh, this is a spot, all of these are spot color transfers, so they're not able to do uh, super fine detail or the gradients uh, in between colors. Um, but just like what you see here, every single one of these images is a spot color, either one color or multi colors. But you have one color ink and another color ink. They, uh, they don't really blend um, and they're not a process print, so they're not printed with like little half tones like digital prints are, like flyers, business cards, kind of stuff like that. Um, the goof proof is just retail ready, feels exactly like a screen print. The hot split, uh, if you're unfamiliar, is a little bit softer hand. The elastic prints for heat sensitive 100% polyester, um, it has great stretch and rebound uh, with over 70 stock ink colors available. We have then our effects that are listed here on this page as well. The glitter, the puff inks, the pearl prints, which add like a really nice kind of metallic shine without being too shiny. Um, and they're not glittery either. It's just like the flakes are in the ink. So it just, it looks, you have to see it in real life to believe it. It's really cool. If you don't already, you could get on over to transferexpress.com, sign up for a free dealer account, and we're going to send you a sample pack so you could see all of these transfers for yourself. You could press them with your heat press to see how well they apply um, and press them on any substrates that you want to. So uh, we want to get the power in your hands to be able to uh, have success with our product. The glow in the dark, uh, glow in the dark transfer, really cool. Um, it's only available in one color um, and then it, it glows. We all know what glow in the dark is. Reflective and on and on. There's another row below these two. If you go on over to the upload artwork page and you could just play around with it and see, uh, you'll even see if we got here on this page and you selected 100% cotton, you're printing one color, it's going to have a little red bar across the goof proof that says recommended. So we want to set you up and have it uh and have you have the best experience possible with our transfers. So after you select uh, your product type, it's going to push you over here to the next step, which is selecting your colors. So with your uh, custom screen printed transfers, you'll select the stock inks that we have here, which for most products, it's uh, 70 plus available inks, which uh, if you you have our marketing kit or you had it or you have one of our color selector tools it's actually a little swatch book of every single one of our inks printed on actual fabric it's called pellon so it's a little bit more stiff but it's actually the actual inks heat press heat printed sorry heat printed onto uh, a substrate so you could see exactly how they look in real life and you'll see that they differ from screen but that's the difference from going from an ink to a uh, light coming out of a computer monitor at you. They aren't going to be exact, but it's a good approximation for designing and getting used to it. Now, if you do have a custom color that you want us to match, just find the Pantone equivalent. Uh, and if you're unfamiliar with Pantone, Pantone is a matching system for ink colors across the board and around the world. So if you have Pantone 123 in your logo, um, it is... Uh, you could tell any printer out there to say, I want Pantone 123, and it's going to be that exact color red. Don't quote me that 123 is a red. I think it is. But here at the bottom, uh, if you could see that, it does say uh, enter a custom color. 
If you do not want one of our uh, stock colors that we have in-house, we are happy to mix it for you and we will custom mix the ink uh, according to the number that you tell us. And that little swatch is gonna turn to an approximation of what the color is as well. So really, really cool. This is a super, super smart system that's built to help you out. Um, Karen, yes, this is recorded. Um, we'll have it up on our YouTube. Uh, you can either just stay tuned and we'll send you an email or you could subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll be the first one to know uh, that it is dropping. So um, with the Pantone colors, I'll go back to them. Uh, there is a $25 charge per ink per order for the Pantone matching. Uh, so just keep that in mind uh, if it is really important to you. Um, I've actually found with ordering, uh, I have a Pantone book and I will have the color selector uh, swatch book from Transfer Express. And I'm able to match uh, fairly close for most jobs. Now, if you're using, if you're printing for a company that has a specific color, like McDonald's has their specific red and their specific yellow that they are very particular about protecting and representing uh, faithfully every single time that they're printing, that you're gonna wanna use those Pantone colors. But in that case, uh, you could pass the charges onto your customer and say, oh, for custom colors, because it doesn't match one of our stock colors, that will have to charge $50 to mix those two inks for this order. And 99% of the time, anybody who is very particular about their colors has absolutely no problem paying for that custom mixing fee. So say for this example, we'll pick our colors and we'll move on to the next step. So the next step here is going to ask you if you're doing just a single image size or a gang sheet. Now, the single image size, like we talked about before, is going to drop down to another menu that's going to tell us, uh, you're going to tell us what size it is. And it's very important that you tell us the exact width and height that you want your image printed at, because that's going to help us figure out the cost of how many we could fit on a gang sheet. For our example here, we'll just say that you've already designed a gang sheet in Illustrator or Photoshop at 11 and a half by 14 for a screen printed transfers. And now you'll get in here and you'll just click the little button that says gang sheet. So we'll move on to the next step. But you could kind of see here the difference between single image and gang sheet. And that's what makes our new artwork uploader so cool because you're able to, it visualizes everything for you. It catches the mistakes for you. So just at the bottom here where sp specify single image or gang sheet, if you forget to fill something out, it warns you. Um, and then as soon as you have everything configured right, it's showing you pricing, it's showing you a full order summary, and it's getting you set up for success ordering your project. So just like this, like I told you right here, circled at the bottom, once you uh, tell us your size or tell us the goof proof, it's going to start showing you the total sheets, the price per sheet, the total images, the price per image. Now you see sheets and images are both 50 because we uploaded a gang sheet and it'll tell you your order total as well. Up on the right hand side, it breaks down your entire order summary that you have the, uh, the, the print method is screen print. You have 50 quantity. We're printing with goof proof. We selected our ink color and it lists the ink colors or color that you have listed out. And then it also reminds you of the sheet size for the product that you've ordered. Now at this step, you would be uploading your full uh, artwork, but this is your uh, full configuration instant quote. If you wanted to save this for any reason, you could upload your art to it and just add it to your cart and then save it for later. You don't have to purchase now, uh, but we wanted to add this uh, capability into the uploader so you could go right to the cart, you could purchase it. We will have somebody from our team review it and we will be happy to reach out if we spot any issues. But for the most part, you guys are setting it up so perfect, it's going right in and you're getting your project back to you uh, in a very quick order. Um, if you need to go back at any time, you could go back, uh, the back button on the bottom left, add to the cart is the bottom right. And right above that blue bar where it's giving you the summary is just a super handy, helpful checklist um, that'll, that just kind of goes over some common uh, artwork requirements that we require to be sent to us. Uh, if you're sending a vector file, just make sure every all the text is set to curves or outlines so that none of it's defaulting and dropping out because most of the time we'll catch it and we'll, we, we'll reach out to you, but that's a that could possibly delay your order. Or worst case, uh, the uh, actual text defaults out to like Arial or Times Roman and your fun font that you put in there is no longer in the file and it goes to print without that, which of course will absolutely fix any issues if that happens, but it could add now more delay to your order because we've shipped it to you. You figured out it's wrong, you contacted us, and now we have to re, uh, reprint it. But we are always happy to help you if things go wrong. And this system is built to minimize things going wrong. It'll also ask you about some show through areas to make sure that, that they're not going to fill in or close up uh, when it's actually printed with inks. 
when you do heat print, uh, the inks do kind of liquefy. So if you do have super, super fine detail in the negative space, it may close up and you may lose it. Uh, we have people looking at all of the files before they print. So if we catch anything uh, after you've submitted your file, we are always going to reach out to you. It also reminds you, again, if you're ordering the full color transfers, convert all the artwork over to CMYK color mode. And that's just going to make sure that you have the most accurate uh, uh, colors printing that's possible. Um, Jasmine, when it's asking quantity or it's asking the quantity of the gang sheets, it's asking how many uh, images you need. So if you are uploading a gang sheet, just say how many gang sheets. If you're uploading a single file uh, and you want to see how many times it's going to gang sheet, uh, you could say, um, you could just tell us how many per image that you're looking for. If that makes sense. You can let me know if it doesn't make sense and I will try to clarify more and we could actually go back through and I'll show you how the system works here at the end. Um, I just know we're already a half an hour in and I've got a lot more to go for you guys. So uh, stick with me. Uh, I love you guys asking questions. Keep asking questions here on the right hand side. Um, I am always kind of kind of scanning them as we go through the presentation here um, and I will try to answer as much as I can. But of course, Mike behind the scenes. Uh, who's answering a lot of those questions already is putting links in to help you guys out and get everything ready to go for you. Um, so now we're going to talk about, because we went through the art, uh, artwork uploader, we were able to upload everything up into our cart. We added to cart, we checked out, and our project is in production. But this now is the second way. And to be honest, my favorite way of creating gang sheets or any artwork here with Transfer Express, and that is our Easy View Online Designer. We did do an entire webinar, webinar on the power of gang sheet printing, um, and that's available on our YouTube. So if you missed that one, head on over there. Um, it is a super in-depth. Uh, I even walk through a whole bunch of stuff live in Easy View, and I'm able to show you uh, kind of exactly how we set up this gang sheet here on the right-hand side that you see, but also about what all the tools, all of the options, all of the effects end up doing. Um, and it's super powerful. So if you got a little bit of time and you're interested about Easy View, I recommend you go check that webinar out. We are kind of doing an Easy View webinar uh, every 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 so often, uh, just to make sure if we add any features um, or we have any new customers who have questions um, that we could demo it for them and get them up and rolling. It is just a super powerful online design tool. You don't need any experience being uh, a designer in Photoshop, Illustrator, or Corel or anything. There are tons, uh, I think like 10,000 uh, clip arts in there, uh, 10,000 layouts that we, we release new layouts every single week uh, for, you know, I think the new ones that just came out were for volleyball. So uh, we, we are consistently, we have an entire staff of designers who are always just working on layouts for you guys. So if you have anything in there that you, uh, or you don't see anything in there that you need, feel free to reach out and let us know because we will pass that along to the art department and they are able to add that artwork to help you out. So um, in here, that was a, a lot about easy view, but um, it's just so powerful that, yeah, we could do we could do a three hour webinar on just easy view. So you could see here, there's all the add buttons for when you're laying out a gang sheet. Uh, we'll start at the bottom for adding your own art. Since we came from the art, uh, artwork uploader, all of the artwork at the bottom uh, is just adding your artwork exactly how you did for us. Now you could add vector artwork uh, and it'll pull right into easy view. If you upload raster artwork, it's going to ask you if you want to convert it to a vector. So if you're familiar with like Adobe Illustrator, it's similar to like Live Trace, where you're taking a raster image and you're turning it over into a vector image, uh, which then you could recolor. And that's why we ask you to do it. If you're doing spot colors, you could recolor the image and set everything up right. Uh, if you uh, get confused at any time, you could always just leave a note and say, I want the black to be printing green, or I would just, just leave us notes and we will pass it along to our designers before your file goes to print. Um, but doing everything here in Easy View, if you have the time uh, and you just sit with it for a little bit, it's actually really simple to be able to change all of that. Our ad layouts are all of our pre-made layouts, just like uh, you see here with like the Chicago, uh, um, if it is a script and tail or with the city skyline, all of that stuff is available under the clip art as well. Now, if you wanted to add any text, uh, you could go up to text, add text. Um, so the cool thing about Easy View is if you even are uploading your own artwork, say you have a logo for your t-shirt company that you're not able to recreate in Easy View, you could add your artwork, pull it in, but say you wanted to add um, 
you know, some text on it to say made in the USA or anything like that. You absolutely could with just the text tools. Um, there are, uh, I think, a couple thousand fonts in there, actually. Um, and as you can see, right under the add buttons, there is the font bubble. Uh, so that would be multiple fonts selected, but it would tell you exactly what font you have selected. You could go in there and choose from a variety of sans or sans serifs or block fonts or athletic fonts. We have them all categorized, or you could search uh, by the actual name of the font if you know what font is there. And odds are it's probably in easy view. So right under that, you could also see that there's width and height. So if you are resizing your own artwork to fit it onto a gang sheet, you absolutely could. Uh, let's say this example that we did uh, here shown with the Chicago and then a whole bunch of inside tag prints is made with, if you say you uploaded that Chicago uh, graphic and then you used our own layout that we have, there's a whole bunch of layouts that we have designed specifically for inside tag prints like this where you could just drop those in and combine them with your own artwork. And that's what I'm talking about, how powerful EasyView Online Designer is, is that really the possibilities are limit are limitless for what you can do in here. So if you add all of your tag prints at the bottom, that's a great way to maximize the actual real estate on one of these sheets. Uh, if you didn't need the extra Chicago you know, um, graphic on there, because you could fit at least two of those and probably still a whole row of the uh, actual tag print. So really, really cool. Um, Daryl, at the time now, you cannot add your own fonts to EasyView. Um, just because we make sure that all of the fonts here are licensed for free use um, or will purchase the license for them so that you could use them for free. Um, and sometimes that gets costly and could get into some legal trouble um, if you don't own the uh, fonts. So um, that's why we, we ask that you, when you send them to us, uh, if you're uploading your own file, that you are setting them to curves or outlines so that we don't have to worry about um, actually like having the license to print those live fonts. Um, I'm not a lawyer, so don't take any of my legal advice, but <laughs> we just want to make sure that everything in here is going to work perfectly with our system. And so at the time, you cannot uh, upload your own fonts, but you could upload your own artwork. I see Mike already answered that too. So perfect. Mike is on the ball today. Um, so you can easily copy and paste, add anything um, until your entire sheet is filled. Now let's talk about combining everything uh, from Easy View into creating your own gang sheet. So let's say here, uh, this right here with the popsicle and the family reunion layout is layout QRN206. If you signed up for a Transfer Express account, we sent you one of our idea books. And if you purchased our marketing kit, we sent you a, an, an idea book customized to your business in full color. So you could see all of these layouts, browse through them or have your customers browse through them to create their own artwork. And all of these layouts are super customizable. You could ungroup them. Say you don't want it to say family reunion. You just want it to say Smith with a popsicle next to it. You could delete those extra elements off. Or if you don't like that script font that's there, you could change the font. Uh, if you don't like the popsicle and you want a basketball there instead, you could delete the popsicle and put a basketball in. That's how powerful Easy View Online Designer is. So for this example, let's say that we added QRN206, that layout, uh, and populated it in here. As you can see on the left-hand side, we've sized this now to 11 inches wide, which makes it 5.85 inches high. If you wanted to skew it in any way, you could uh, uncheck the lock aspect ratio and be able to distort that image if you wanted to. But we're not going to do that. We'll leave that checked and we'll move it to the top of the sheet. So now you see there's a whole bunch of real estate at the bottom uh, that we're going to be able to build our gang sheet with. Now here, creating a gang sheet in easy view. Step two is we're going to add another layout. So it doesn't have to be the same layout. doesn't have to be the same artwork. We're just looking to have it to be the same color. Um, and I'll get into some extra tips when we get into multiple colors here a little bit later in this presentation. But for this example, we're all one color. QCH110 is this cheerleading layout. We're going to size it to 7.5 because maybe it's fitting on some tank tops. We don't need that full real estate 11 and a half inches wide um, or, you know, any youth shirts. We kind of talk down to that seven, nine uh, inch range width wise where the full front adult shirts, we usually say are about 11 inches for that center chest graphic. So we're just going to move it down now to the empty space at the bottom of the sheet. And as you can see, there is that dotted line border, which is our standard sheet size, the 11 and a half by 14. If you switch the transfer type to an alter color, that's going to adjust as well. So you're always going to be able to see what your sheet is. 
Now, say we want to add some text. And we'll, since we're here in Menor, we'll say add text Menor Cardinals. So just like that, um, and then rotate it up vertically so we could fit it in a little bit more. We'll size that to seven inches wide because say we'll be putting it uh, on the back side of the cheerleading uniforms or maybe full center chest across a similar tank top, maybe just in a different color. Uh, you, could, you could start to kind of piece together the business opportunities that you're able to kind of fit onto one gang sheet. So we'll just move it to the empty space and turn it sideways exactly how it's pictured right there. And as you can see, as we turn it up, the width turns to 1.01 inches and the height turns to seven inches. So you can see here a little bit better illustrated now that we just have text selected. Uh, if you could see on the left hand side of the easy view panel there that it does say edit dot dot dot. And that is the content that you have in your text box. And directly under that, it is the font shade blue. So you could space out the letters more with the letter spacing or crunch them back together. There's a whole bunch of effects that I don't want to get too in depth. Um, and I want to keep it here. Uh, art, you're saying, do you lose color quality when you save from SVG to PDF? Um, you don't really. Um, however, when you are bringing in PDF, uh, holds colors much better than SVG. SVG is more of a uh, scalar vector, scalable vector graphic. So it's more uh, thinking about the point to points uh, and the anchor points, all of the mathematical equations that go into building that. But the uh, PDF is able to hold colors, but you're able to bring it in. And if you're kind of making it uh, and creating a screen printed product, you're going to change those colors anyway, unless you are using uh, the ultra color soft, which you could easily submit any raster artwork for that. As long as it's high resolution, it's going to print just as good as a vector on that. Um, the vector really, really helps for actually being able to create here. So if you have an illustrator file or an SVG and you transform that, you just save it out as a PDF, that helps it be uh, read into easy view very correctly. So you could easily change the colors of each shape, just like you are still in Corel Draw or Illustrator. So very, very, very cool. So say we want to put another one of the mentor cardinals here. Um, all we have to do is duplicate that um, or just hit control C and it'll copy it right on out. So uh, you will find if you are familiar with any design programs that using EasyView carries over a lot of those same uh, keyboard shortcuts, the uh, command or control G for the grouping, uh, the co command or control C for copying, uh, just stuff like that. And there's one, there's just, I, f I figure out new ones every day. That I go, oh my God, I didn't know that shortcut was built in there. Um, and I use EasyView all the time. So it goes super in depth and you're never going to get bored with the capabilities of this program. So here, just on top of the object button, um, on that top toolbar, you go down to duplicate, which is the fourth option down, and that just duplicates it. Um, you can see there's a whole bunch in here too, going to effects, distressing, uh, apply patterns, duplicating mirrors, groups, ungroups, delete, select all, um, helps you all go through that. So um, I don't want to get too in-depth. They, like I said, we could talk about easy view for three hours and I get really excited about the power of it. Um, so I don't want to derail this too much. But so we just go to duplicate and it duplicates it out. We'll move it to another spare uh, spot on the gang sheet and voila, we're ready to go. And that's it. Uh, here, we're going to get into some helpful hints to help you uh, save money and maximize your print costs here. So if we've already laid it out or you're working in easy view online designer, here's some cool tips to use. So this is going to be a two color print. So already we're looking a little bit more expensive than just a one color print out the door. Um, so the price is based on quantity. So larger orders are always going to be less per piece than multiple orders because it's by the artwork. So if this makes any sense, um, if you guys have questions, just go ahead and let me know here in the right hand side um, of the comment little box here. But doing two different orders because we're only paying for the quantity of each order. So if you see the small 4th of July picnic and the large one. So let's say some of these are going on uh, like a sleeve and some of them are going on the front side. So we need uh, 50 of each image, you know. So we'll be looking here at the top. Don't do it. Don't do two separate orders if you could fit them all on one gang sheet. And this is where the power and the money saving effects really come into play. The 4th of July could fit up 11 inches wide and we could fit two of the uh, men or 4th of July's on the bottom. So talking about the first example here, if we're doing six quantity because we need 50, we only need to do six now of these nine up of the men or 4th of July picnic at the smaller size. 
Six is going to be $14 per sheet for a total cost of $84. Okay. Now, since we're doing 50 and we need 50 of the large one, 50 at it's just because it's two color at 50 quantity is 379. So you could see here right away in that first example that if you're ordering six sheets, it's $14 per sheet. But if you're ordering 50 sheets, it's 379 per sheet. So you see how much less per sheet it is when you're talking a larger quantity. And that's just because of the nature of screen printing. If you're familiar with screen printing, it's all the, the cost is really all in the setup. So once you get it set up and running, the per piece rate plummets and it drops down, you know, to a fraction of the $14 at a low quantity of six. I didn't mention it earlier, but our gang sheets come in the minimum quantity of five, which is actually incredible for any screen printed product. The last print shop that I worked with, the minimum quantity was 24. And even then it was astronomically expensive. But we want to be able to help you out. We know that you guys aren't getting, you know, the huge orders. Um, and I mean, it's great if you are. It's fantastic if you are. But starting small with small orders is the way that a lot of people get off the ground. And we want to help you get off the ground. So six quantity, $14 per sheet is very expensive compared to 50 quantity at 379. But if we're talking about 379 per sheet at 50 quantity, it's 189.50 for the entire order. So if we just combine the main graphic and two of the smaller graphics. Now, all we did here is rotate the artboard uh, vertical. So it's in the portrait mode. But all we did was rotate it, same size graphic at 11 inches wide that we fit up at the top and fit two of the smaller graphics down at the bottom. Now we're going to have even extra. And we don't even need to add a second one. We could add uh, an inside tag print or you could add your own business this logo that you could print on your own shirts down the road. Uh, we just did a video on how long that transfers last. And uh, I mean, they, we printed a, a goof proof transfer that was over 10 years old. So they last if they are stored properly. So here in our second example at the bottom, we are just printing 50 sheets at $379 for $189 done out the door. So that's saving $84 off your order than if you had done two separate orders. Put your, as long as they're the same color, put them on the same gang sheet. You could save a lot of money. Another awesome helpful hint here is if you're doing multiple uh, artwork. So you could use a color change uh, instead of printing a two color gang sheet if everything is changing color. You could see here at the top, both of these uh, art are the same. It's just one's white and one's black. So our first example here at the top, We'll talk about some pricing here. And so 50, two color prints is 379. So just how we talked that the higher the quantity, the lower per piece, right? Per piece rate, the less colors, the lower the per piece rate it's going to be. But we know that not everybody's printing all one color or you have a customer who's ordering black shirts and white shirts and they want the same artwork, but you can't print black on black because you're just not going to see it or white on white, you're not going to see it. So you need to do two different kinds here. Don't do the top. Example one, 52 color, it's black inks, white inks for $379 each, which is uh, $189.50. So it's very similar to the exact example that we just covered. Same pricing, same full gang sheet, just with two colors. But if we were to bring this down to just one color, and so just color it all white, print 25 black, 25 white with an ink change. And an ink change is just changing the entire sheet over to a different color, which is only a $15 charge charge. As you do that, it drops the per piece rate down to 227 because we're only printing one color. You're adding on a $15 ink change charge, and that is bringing the total per per order rate down to 128.50, which is saving you $61. And now $61 might not be all that much if you're talking about, you know, spending $200 or you're charging your customer this, but that is money that could be going back in your product, your, your pocket. $61 for a project of 50 shirts is a very good profit margin to be able to save and reinvest in your business or give yourself a payday, take you know your significant other out to lunch or something. <laughs> a $61 would be an expensive lunch, but a good one, I bet. But here you can see that we add these tools in here. I um, mean, ink changes are able uh, to be configured either in the notes section with our, uh, the upload artworks feature or in easy view. You'll see it on the right hand side right under your transfer 
for details. And you can add as many art color changes as you want. It's just $15 per color. So if you wanted this to also be blue, all you're doing is adding on $15 and you're getting the same per piece rate. Now, another helpful hint on the gang sheets is when you have two different color artwork and you can't fit them both on uh, one sheet, uh, you want to split them off for separate orders. So two one color orders is always going to be less than one two color order, if that makes sense. So our example one here, we have 52 color, 379 for 189.50. Kind of that same example that we've been talking about. Now, if we did two 25 sheet orders, because they aren't the same artwork um, and we they aren't going to just ink change, uh, but they are in fact different orders, this is where you would do two separate orders. So two 25 sheet one color orders, drop the per piece rate down to 313. That's half, 25 is half of the 50 quantity that we are ordering in example one, and it is still cheaper to just do one ink color. So 78.25 for just one of those orders. If you add another order that's just one color, it's 156 total. So that's another 78.25 times two is 156, and that's saving you $33. So not as much, but the cool, cool thing about this is you could see this pricing live in easy view if you're configuring it. Um, and what I always like to do when I'm going through easy view is it'll show you the pricing on the right hand side, very similar to how the artwork uploader showed you the pricing on the bottom of the page. And you're able to go through and I always just jot down, OK, in this configuration two color this. Um, and when you're placing multiple orders, this is really, really handy because you could be at your leisure kind of pricing this out on how you want it to be. Um, always, if you have a question, you could live chat us or text us, and we'll tell you the cheapest way to do it. Um, sometimes, even when you're submitting your artwork, we are going to find the cheapest way for you to do it. Um, and even if it means splitting off to two separate orders, we could we'll, we could talk with you, we'll call you or email you, and see if we could make that, uh, if that's okay, that we make it cheaper for you. Um, so for the um, example here, the 225 sheet orders is much cheaper than doing one full order uh, even with the quantity break, the extra ink color, like I mentioned earlier, makes it much more expensive. Now, here in this example, we're talking about having two colors with one color that's a common color. So our two colors in the Painesville Panthers graphic up top is the uh, purple and gold. At the bottom, just a one color purple artwork. Because you need that two color graphic, you're not gonna get away with splitting that out to a separate order, um, but you could go ahead and add the artwork from any matching color. So even if you had a uh, another yellow, say you, if, if this Panthers Painesville, uh, the horizontal graphic there at the bottom was a little bit smaller, you might be able to fit two of those on the sheet. And if you wanted one in purple and one in the uh, gold as well, you could absolutely do that. You could just, it's no extra cost to add one color or the other matching color to the sheet. Now, if this was a blue artwork, we're going to defer back to our other example where it's going to be easier for you to place that as two separate orders. But any of the matching colors on your sheet, go ahead and throw them up. Say you want a version of your own logo in purple, throw it on the bottom of the sheet or you want the inside tag to match. You could absolutely do that. Uh, Johanna, uh, these suggestions can be done with custom artwork. Um, we, uh, depending on how you do it, there will be some different ways that will handle it, but absolutely you could do ink changes or, uh, ganging up the, the similar colors on a sheet in easy view. Um, yep. And Mike got to it as well. He's so fat. He's fast on the trigger today answering questions. I'm glad you guys are getting your questions answered. Um, and I'm answering as much as I can. So this is a cool feature. I know somebody asked about it earlier is the auto ganging feature. So this is something uh, if you create uh, an image in EasyView or you upload our image or upload your own image, our auto gang tool is going to do the rest based on the image sizing that you chose. So here in this example, it's four by four and a half. We just have to enter the total number of what we need, which is in the right hand panel, your quantity panel uh, and your uh, kind of configuration for the screen printing on the right hand side. And we'll enter the total number that we need is 300. Um, if we're able to fit five up on here, it's six per sheet, and we only order 50 sheets instead of ordering.
bring 300. Whoa, like that is a huge savings from printing 300 sheets to just printing 50. And this system is going to do it all on its own as long as you are using the uh, sizing. Now here in Easy View, anytime you size that image, that size is updating just as if it were in Illustrator or Corel. You're able to see that. Um, if you're using the, uh, the upload artwork feature, you're able to just tell us that sizing. But that is why we require it to be the most accurate sizing possible. So another one here, another, now this is one of the helpful hints that I really, really like is, so you use the leftover space on your gang sheet, either if you're not using it for yourself, you could use it for a prospective customer. So here, say we're selling the uh, cheerleading squad. They bought 10 shirts, so we're printing 10 of these gang sheets. So we can either just print five and put two on there, but in this case, uh, the 10 is a, a considerable quantity break from the minimum of five. So you could also use that a little bit. Um, and Easy View is even going to tell you that. So um, if I have time here, and I know we're getting close to the end, um, I might have to be another time. But Easy View will even tell you on the bottom right hand side if you're at a, a, if you're near a quantity break, it's going to tell you, hey, if you order ten of these, it's actually going to save you money, and you could save you know six dollars or eight dollars or whatever it ends up being. And usually that happens when you're, you know, you're right under a quantity break, but you don't know where the quantity break is. Easy View is going to tell you that. We're not trying to rip you off and we want to maximize your profit. And it's always nice to have extra transfers. I know the orders that I've been printing for, um, they'll sell out of them quick and they'll go, oh man, like we oversold and we just need two. Well, luckily I ordered five different transfers to get away or five more transfers to get a way better per piece rate and get that quantity break. So... Oh, hey, I have those transfers laying around and I charged the customer for them when they bought them. Um, but I just held on to them knowing that I might need them for reference. Or even if a customer says, hey, uh, you know, something's wrong with this transfer, you have one to be able to test. Um, a, a little secret tip that's unrelated to gang sheets is uh, whenever I'm printing a custom order for somebody, I always, always hold on to uh, one. I will, or I will order an extra one for myself, which uh, don't tell anybody, but I charge the customer for. Um, and I just bill it in, and that's one in case uh, anything goes wrong applying, especially if it's a new material that I've never heat pressed on before. I'm worried about scorching it or worried about the transfer applying or worried about anything on that. You could actually, um, I, I'll, I'll take it and I'll print on it. And 99% of the time, that ends up being a sample for me. Um, and so I could just hold on to it and have a reference for if they want to reorder it. I go, ah, I don't remember what size I made that. Or, you know, how I combine those images or whatnot. I could just pull the shirt out, look at it, measure it, or say, oh, I need to match the color he wanted. He wants the color that we used on that one. And I don't have access to a computer to see my transfer express account. Like, I, I just go to the shirt. You can match the color. You can measure it. You could see it. Um, and, you know, some people sometimes have problems with, like, uh, the durability of the transfers. If they're not washing them inside out or they're ironing on the transfer um, which is, you know, you could tell your customer, we always say wash them inside out, cold only, uh, avoid high heat in the dryer. So we absolutely want to, our, our transfers we've wash tested independently and in-house to 50 plus washes. And we never release a product that does not meet that uh, kind of internal benchmark. So we're not worried about the quality of our transfers at all. Uh, but if you do have any problems, let us know because we are here to help. But I always try to cover that step uh, for my own when I'm pressing shirts for people. Um, so here, we'll get back to this example as we went off on a little tangent. Um, at the bottom here, you can see that we're going to sell it to the band. So we'll use the same colors. We know it's the same colors. Maybe we got a great deal on these yellow shirts and we have some extra yellow shirts, but the band's going to be a lot better, a lot bigger than 10 people. So you have some gauge the interest. They were free to print, you know. The, the artwork you already paid for the printing, you charged the cheerleading team for, and now you're trying to get an extra business opportunity for your business, bringing him to the band. Take him to the, to the band director, and he gives them away as, you know, prizes, or it, it makes them as a contest until everybody goes, I want those, and they could have a little candy bar fundraiser or something to raise the funds to be able to buy them themselves. So, like, that is the power of using these gang sheets is, is just so wide-reaching that you're able to... Uh, do everything from putting your own branding on there, adding inside tag prints. Uh, my favorite thing, especially is a, like if you get a contract or a job to do uh, any festivals or charity walks where they don't necessarily want your branding on the outside, which is great too, because sometimes you could say, hey, if I put my uh, logo 
go on the outside in the upper back will you i'll give you 10 percent off the, the total order is that cool and a lot of these charities or something are completely fine with that um but if you don't have that um that ability to kind of you know put your own logo on the outside putting your logo on the inside nobody ever complains about because nobody sees it except the wearer but anybody who attended that event or that charity or that festival now has your brand on the inside of their t-shirt and when they need custom t-shirts you know who they're calling they're calling who's on the inside of that t-shirt that they got from that festival that they love so much and they're going to call you so it's a great way to continue to get business long after you printed the job and still be able to stay top of mind of people who are wearing your t-shirts which is why i always say like i want to put my best quality out there because i don't know who's going to get into one of my t-shirts and contact me and they're going to or have you know when the time comes i feel like everybody at some point need has a need for buying custom t-shirts in any quantity whether you're like in a band and you need merch or you're working with community organization and everybody's going to do a park cleanup and you want matching uniforms like stuff like that there is always an opportunity that comes up and you're always going to say, oh, yeah, I remember that that T-shirt I got from that festival I wear all the time. And it has, you know, Carolina Custom Tees on the inside neck label. And, oh, let me call Carolina Custom Tees. So it's nice to put, uh, you know, websites in there or how to find you or where you're based out of, especially, you know, if you're in a smaller market and there are no local T-shirt printing shops. Usually you could hit them fast with turn times and say, hey, well, I could turn these around in just a couple of days, especially if you're ordering a one color goof proof from us and you designed it an easy the online designer it ships next day if you order it before 11 a.m before the production cutoff so you're able to kind of really uh you know you could you could beat them with you could beat the big people with like custom ink or any of those you know vista prints or anything with the with the cutoff times uh the production times the uh even the pricing especially with how cheap some of the transfers are you could be making a a healthy profit um, as you go through um, and and create these orders and create, you know, custom T-shirts for your customers, even if you're not doing that and you're your own brand, it's you, you want your brand in there. You want to make the T-shirt feel like it is a retail ready product and put your brand in there. So there's always room for that kind of stuff on gang sheets. Just like I was talking about with the last example, instead of a business opportunity, you can put your own design on there, sell it on a, you know, a Facebook sale. If you have enough followers on Facebook or Instagram, or even if you want to buy an ad, you could buy an ad targeting uh, Chamberlain, Arizona. And so you buy an ad on Facebook with your Facebook page. Not only are you getting the brand awareness of your t-shirt business out there, but also you have the opportunity to make a whole bunch of money. And if you're buying one of these for $20 a shirt, um, you didn't pay for the printing because the cheerleading team paid for the printing on the shirt. You're only printing out your time, you know, you're, you're pricing out your time of what uh, time it took you to print this. But at the same time, if say this is a goof proof transfer, um, which it's obviously screen printed because we see the standard sheet size of 11 and a half by 14 at the top. But if this is a goof proof transfer, it applies in four seconds. So really how much is four seconds worth of your time? If you just bought the garment, uh, you pressed it in four seconds and you didn't pay for the printing because the cheerleading team already paid for it. And then you have, say, 10, 15 of these, however many the cheerleading team bought, and you're able to put an ad out or sell them on Facebook, sell them to your friends and family for 20 bucks until they're all gone. And that's fine. That's just extra money in your pocket, spreading your brand awareness um, and getting more people into your T-shirts. And the more T-shirts you get out there, the absolute more better. Um, or the absolute better to get out there because now people have your quality and it's even better when they're branded with your brand, whether you're a custom decorator or you are your own t-shirt brand. Another great power of the money saving that you could get with these gang sheets is grouping up if you're doing teams. Now, teams are just an awesome opportunity to print a ton of shirts and they're usually uh, you could get by completely fine with charging a, a, a good price for them. Now, usually the way that this works with, uh, you know, the local sport leagues is that they are going to kind of bid out. So you don't want to be too expensive. But even if you are, you know, you're thinking with Transfer Express in mind, you're thinking you're not going to be cutting all of these out of vinyl. You're going to be wanting that that screen printed quality. But even this like variable data, um, if you're running screens, you know, this could be multiple screens that you're burning. It's not just one screen. So you could underprice 
a traditional screen printer or a sporting goods store in your area if they're not using transfers. So using this example, if it's 20 sheets at 356 a sheet and we're printing three different teams on it, it's a, just over a dollar per player. So depending on what the blank cost is, which usually you can't really change that if you have a wholesale account with anybody or you're even purchasing wholesale apparel from uh, transferexpress.com and you don't need a tax ID or anything. I know a lot of the uh, the suppliers out there require tax IDs to get the wholesale apparel, um, the bulk discounts, but we offer the bulk discounts just through Transfer Express. We could be your one-stop shop for everything here. But whatever the uh, the blank cost is, plus a dollar per the print print price. And my uh, pricing, if just real quick, there's a ton of different ways that you price your stuff. But the my rule of thumb when pricing any t-shirt job is take your cost and at least double it. So the cost of the printing, the cost of the actual t-shirts, and double it. And usually that more than enough covers your time. Of course, for like different print locations that you're going to have to pull the shirt off the press and put it back on and print the back. Um, stuff like that, uh, you know, you kind of have to get creative, but don't undersell yourself. Your time is worth it and your quality is worth it. Um, and don't let anybody tell you any different. Um, usually the jobs that I found in my careers, uh, printing the people who say, oh, that's way overpriced. Like I'm going to go get it cheaper. We'll come back to you the next time they need t-shirts because those cheap t-shirts they bought were really bad and everything washed out. It was somebody doing direct to garment on a cheap setup or somebody doing, uh, you know, those like laser transfers that are good for 10 washes and then they fall off. So absolutely, Louie, time is money. And so make sure that you are paying yourself for your time. And usually doubling the cost when you're using goof proof transfers or any kind of the quick apply transfers, uh, cost times two usually covers you and you still make a hefty profit. Of course, on a smaller job, you're not making as much profit, but you're still protecting yourself and you're never losing money on your uh, product. Um, so, Carol, we're not really talking too much about vinyl here. Um, uh, Stalls, our parent company, sister company, kind of how you want to call them. Um, they uh, have all of the vinyl stuff. We actually do screen printed uh, plastisol transfers. So it is exactly what you get uh, exactly feels like a screen printed T-shirt. We just screen print it for you so you don't have to worry about any of the mess, none of the emulsion, no press setups, no registration. We do that all for you. The cleaning up of the inks and spraying everything out. Don't worry about that. All you need is a heat press and you can have the exact same screen printed quality itself um, that you get uh, if you go to Old Navy or Target and or, uh, you know, uh, you're at a merch booth at a rock show. It is a screen printed T-shirt that you end up with. Goofbird's good for hats. Um, uh, the I've actually had really good luck. I don't know the exact mill number. I want to say it's like the C937 from Port Authority. Uh, they are foam front trucker hats that are, I think, 100% polyester and foam, uh, David. And they they print perfect with Goofproof. I print them at the 325 uh, at the low application temperature for Goofproof that prints on 100% poly. Um, I've been printing them on the Fusion IQ360, and they turn out absolutely awesome so yes goofproof will work on poly test it first test it first uh, if they are heat sensitive and just to make sure you're not scorching it or burning anything on there a lot of the foam that you see on koozies or those trucker hats is heat sensitive so you just can't touch it while it's hot because it will dimple it'll dimple when you touch it but as long as you're very careful with it uh careful peeling the transfer off and you're not applying any direct pressure to the foam itself it will uh, expand back out when it starts to cool down so I know I'm just over an hour here and we're just about done, but I wanted to kind of gauge how you guys are feeling. If you uh, if you have any questions and you want me to go into Easy the Online Designer or if you want me to go over to the Upload Artwork and demo anything uh, in particular, because I'm more than happy to show you guys that. Um, I know I don't want to take up too much of your afternoon here um, and we're already over our hour allotted time slot. But uh, does anybody have any questions that you would like me to demo live and kind of walk through the process uh, at least right here at the end before we wrap everything up. I'm just going to take a quick drink of water and wait for you guys to respond if you see anything in there. Daryl wants to go through the uh, artwork upload feature, so we could try to do that here. Um, and I will show off how this 
thing works. Because we'll even do it then with a, um, we'll do it with multiple images so you could see it. So should be here. This should be transferexpress.com. If you guys see my mouse moving around, the little cursor moving around. All right. Uh, Cheyenne, I hope I pronounced that right. Um, but if you know nothing about screen printing, that's fine. That's fine. We know everything about screen printing, so you don't have to. Um, if you want to do designs with us, we have our Easy View Online Design Center, which is just right here. And you could go to start designing. So this is what the uh, program looks like. I'm, I'm broadcasting the webinar too, so I apologize if it's a little slow here. So this is our Easy View Online Designer. If you know nothing about artworks, there's all these artworks in here um, that you could just select and change them if you want. Um, and so this one here, um, we could just say, if you wanted to say like, I get out of town, you could just take, take this out of town and that's it. You could change it. You could change anything you want on any of these layouts. You don't like the bus. Like you could just say, bye, it's gone. Or if you, oh, where's my bus? I want it back. All right here. Easy view online designer. If you're not set up for a, uh, transfer express account, sign up for this easy view online designer is 100% completely free no uh credit card needed no nothing it's all right here but um like i said we could go on about online designer for hours and hours let's go back over to transferexpress.com and i will demo this brand new upload artwork feature here for you so this is what the artwork uploader looks like and if you're new to us then you don't know anything different it's 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 not, it's not new to you. <laughs> Everything is new to you. Um, Amy, this is going to give you a price as you design as well. Actually, I could go back over here. So um, Easy View Online Designer, real quick, as we go through this right-hand sidebar that I was talking about, uh, almost all the demo earlier of Easy View Online Designer is all of your configurations. So screen printing, goof proof, cotton. If you want that cut apart that I mentioned with the cutting apart each image, if you're ganging together, you could put it all here. Um, your apparel color, our number of colors printing, the gold and black. Um, which is much more than what's available right here. So we'll pull that one out um, and we'll just say, this is Carolina blue image quantity. Let's say um, we, we need 24, um, no color changes. This is where you do color changes right here if you needed to do it um, and change that. But I'm not gonna go into that. We have a video on that on our YouTube page. If you're interested in that, you can put your order notes right here, but hey, check this out right at the bottom. Save $14 by increasing your order quantity to at least 25. So that's exactly what I was talking about, that you could save money if we just jump up to 25. So our price right here is 148.56 total. Uh, if you could see that 148.56. And if we just change this here to 25, it drops the price to 134. How cool is that? That's really, really cool that we allow you to do that. But uh, the original request to demo the artwork uploader, let's go back to this um, and I will stay out of easy view, uh, at least for the time being here. So for this example, let's say it's a screen print and how many colors do we need printing? Uh, we'll just say one for this example. So this pops up right below and we'll just click next to go on to the next step. Now this is this uh, the actual apparel selector and the fabric type. So we'll let you know what's the best. So for this example, let's say that we're printing on 100% cotton. And now we're gonna say the quantity needed. Now, if we're doing the single image example here, let's say that the quantity that we need is 50. Go on to the next step. Here's this red bar that I was telling you about. As the configuration that we put in, in our print method, the configuration we put in, in our fabric type, and the configuration we put in our quantity is recommending that Goofproof is the best product for us to use. Um, Infinite Piper, yes, if you missed the webinar, it's going to be up later. Uh, you could subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date when it goes up there, or uh, we'll send you a link a little bit later today or tomorrow with a recap of everything we covered today. Um, so here we'll select Goofproof. It is our recommended product. And I got to tell you, I absolutely love it. It's perfect. And now it's going to take us to colors because we selected in this first step. Oh, look, you could go back. And <laughs> just like I told you earlier, uh, how many colors do you want printed? One color there. So as we go back over to colors, it's going to say one color. But you say, ah, actually, my artwork is two colors. Cool. No problem. You could easily add another color and remove one as you go. So as you can see with Goofproof, uh, you could add as many colors as you want. But we're actually going to remove these and we'll go just back down to one. Now this opens up our 70 stock colors that you're able to choose from. And let's say we're going to do dolphin. 
you don't need to do a custom color, but as you can see, that custom color uh, right at the bottom here where it was. Let's see what that 123 was. Oh, the yellow the entire time. If you remember that from the beginning and the, the beginning of the webinar when I called out that custom Pantone. But you can see if you're doing a custom Pantone color right here. So we're just going to say we're going to get out of this one. Whoop. And we've got dolphin as our selected color. Now, this is where the magic happens with that auto resizer that we were talking. Here with the single image only, uh, let's say that this image is five by five. So we could fit quite a few of these up on a gang sheet, well, uh, maybe four of them on a gang sheet. But you could see that as the pricing starts to populate here, we have 50 total images. We're printing only 13 gang sheets for $6.85 per sheet and $1.71 per image. Wow. That's awesome for an order total of eighty nine oh five. So, say we're doing a gang sheet at that same uh, at that same rate. Uh, if we just said gang sheet, you could see that it's two sixty seven per sheet for fifty. So, putting multiple images on there. Let's just quickly put the five by five back up again. And you could see it drops the price down to one seventy one. That's what I'm talking about. So that's where the most cost effective method is. But if you were just doing your whole gang sheet, you could put them right on up there. And then we'll just go to our last step. This is where we will upload our file. We'll name this and we'll say webinar. If you wanted to do any color changes like we mentioned and you don't want to go into easy view, you could add that right here. Just let us know in the notes section and say, I want a color change to blue, 25 blue and 25 black or dolphin or whatever color we had selected, dolphin. Am I going to spell, I'm going to spell it wrong in front of everybody. Oh, no, I think I did it right. Awesome. But here, like we were talking about earlier, the screen print method, 50 quantity goof proof, the colors that we have selected, I could have just copied and pasted it. Look at me trying to spell. And our artwork che checklist here. So it's telling us that we need to upload at least one file. I don't have a file ready to upload, but just right here, you could drag and drop it or just click there and go. Uh, Joseph, if you want a preview option, let's go on over back to the design center down here. Um, let me just select all of this and I'll show you this preview option. I saw somebody saying something about a um, including uh, a watermark. Um, it's hard to see a difficulty. So we'll see that. So that's the apparel share button if you're doing that. So let's just go add layout and we'll pick this championship layout. I'm not going to edit it too much because that's for another video. But as everything loads in, I'm just going to resize this. And you can see that as I resize it, this, this number changes. So five, uh, 5.6. When we make it big, it changes to 9.41, of course. So with this one, if we're just going to set this, let's set this to five inches. So five by five. And if we just go out here and set up all of our quantity or our configuration, our screen print, goof proof, 100% cotton, no cut apart, apparel color, image quantity, notes, and everything we could go to done. And here's your preview. Look, we only had one on our gang sheet, our 11 and a half by 14 inch gang sheet here. But as we go to done, it's going to tell us that we could fit four up on one sheet. And this is, of course, is on our Easy View Online Designer, our super powerful online design tool that you don't need to have any experience whatsoever on how to use. So there's no watermark here. This is going to tell you this is your proof of how your transfers are going to ship to you. This blue is just simulated carrier sheet, um, and this is just using a background here. So again, you have all of your details to review, similar to how we did in the artwork uploader and here. So you're going to see, even in this pricing, that it's going to be uh, 193 per image. We're printing 28 total images and it's 773 per sheet. We're printing seven sheets. So you don't need, if we said we needed, you know, the 25 quantity, we're not printing 25 sheets here. We're not. We're printing seven sheets because the artwork fits up on it. Yeah, really, really cool. I see, Barry, that's fantastic. Sweet, thanks. It's very easy to use. That's why it's called Easy View Online Designer. It is just an awesome program to use. Now, I saw somebody talking about the uh, watermark, which would be in this apparel share function in here. Um, and this is going to pull in. Um, I'm on such a 
slow internet connection. I'm so sorry. The, the webinar is pulling all my bandwidth here. But so you could select, that's not a preview, but this is, uh, so if you could select any uh, garment that's in the catalog here and you're able to kind of mock it up. Now it does have this, uh, this watermark over this, but if you're selling this to your customer, you could change the watermark. All I did was go up here to this top toolbar, change the watermark, and uh, because my name is Dave, I'm just going to have it say Dave's Apparel. And you could take that, you could update there. I don't know why it's not letting me update. For some reason. There we go. Dave's Apparel. No, is it too long? Here we go. So. As that goes in, I think my internet connection is just too slow. I have to wait for it to come up as I am streaming out as well. Um, so Dave, 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 Dave. So all of this is, uh, you could change that watermark out for whatever you want. You could also download it. You could email it. You could print it. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you could do right here. You could screenshot it or do whatever you need uh, all right here in Easy View Online Designer. Of course, you always have your details. Um, and this is a really cool function to an Easy View. You can actually add the apparel to your cart as you're ordering it. You can pick whatever uh, style you want and whatever colorways you want. So you want to change the color of it. It changes the color right here for you. And allows you to see what it's going to look like on a variety of different colored uh, garments. And then you could add them to the cart. If you just said, yeah, I want five extra larges. Cool. Perfect. They're all right there. And you could remove them if you wanted to and go back out and we'll go back on out to the easy view online designer. Uh, Rich, it, right at this point, it cannot be um, any text. It's just going to be a uh, it's just going to be a watermark of text of whatever you want to change it to be. We don't have any uh, any functionality to add the logo. However, if you did go to the, the share functionality um, and you could put your business name here um, and then. You could just say download and it downloads the file or if you want to print it, email it to your customer. Um, there it goes. It's downloading right there. Um, and then you could bring it into Photoshop or whatever and drop your own logo on there. So the purpose of the watermark is just to protect you and your business um, and allow this to be a mock-up tool that is branded to either Transfer Express or your business as you go through. Um, and that's only for, uh, you know, so people aren't stealing your stuff or stealing our stuff as they go through, just mocking stuff up and then sending it off to another printer, especially if you're decorating custom apparel. Uh, somebody goes, oh, well, I could just, this is what I want. This is what they sent me. I'm just going to send it over. And a lot of print shops will say like, oh, hey, well, it's, you know, that's that's obviously somebody else's copyrighted image and we're not going to take that. So it gives you, you know, people will still do it, but it helps protect you a little bit and maybe cement you into that sale after you've put the work in designing their artwork and mocking it up for them. Um, yes, so it's only going to do it for one image size Gino in the artwork, art, artwork upload tool um, as we are here. So if we go back to the beginning of the process, I'm going to say, yeah, leave. I'm going to lose all my process here. So if you are doing multi-file artwork ordering and you want to make a gang sheet with multiple files, you're only able through the artwork uploader to put one file. So you could go over here if you're doing, if you want to combine, you know, you have your roller and your hearts and stuff and you want to combine them all in one sheet. Uh, when you're in the artwork uploader, you will have to go on over here, say leave, and it's going to take you over to Easy View Online Designer where you're able to add your own art, pull everything in. Um, and that's just through this functionality too. So you could say, choose file um, and yeah, pull any of the stuff that we have in here. I don't have anything anything ready to go. That would be great to pull into uh, easy view here. Let's see, maybe I do. So like a single image, illustrated file. Ah, it's an illustrated file. I need to save it out of the PDF. Yeah, I don't have anything like that we could go, go, back, uh, go back through in there. Um, Arthur, if you want to get to the mock-up screen, let me just add some artwork here real quick. Um, we'll throw this one back down in here. And as that's loading, I'm going to go through our transfer details here. We'll say 25. And our fabric type, we'll say cotton. Um, and the apparel share is just right down here. That's where the apparel share button is right here. And you can click apparel share. It's going to open up this format. Um, and I do apologize. I'm sucking all my internet trying to stream out to you guys as well. Uh, so this, if you tried this right now at home, it's going to be much faster 
uh, than how this is loading for me live on the webinar. But just like that, and say we wanted to change this shirt over to, I um, mean, it's just the, the typical Gildan 5000, like a Carolina blue or something like this. It's going to bring it right on over, and it's going to show you how great it's going to look on a Carolina blue. And even if you wanted to resize this, so this isn't 100% spot on accurate in sizing, but uh, if you needed to adjust it at any point, uh, say, you know, you haven't figured out your sizing yet, but you want to see how it looks on like a left chest or you want to see how it looks like huge uh, up front. So that's going to be a lot more. This is uh, just from my experience in the print industry. This is going to be about an 11 inch print about right there. So as you do more and more, you'll kind of get uh, very quick to be able to, to move on through. Um, and that's it. That's it here for easy view. Um, is there any other questions that I could show you guys real quick before we wrap this one up? I'm going through the comments here, just trying to see if there's anything we didn't cover. Um, but if you guys have any more questions, please, please, please let me know here. Ray, you're very welcome. I'm so happy to help all the time. Um, and yeah, anytime that you guys need help, that's what everybody here at Transfer Express is completely ready to do. Help your t-shirt business at all costs. Um, I'm so happy that you guys are so dedicated um, to, you know, improving your t-shirt business. Uh, the vectorizer tool, we could do this real quick. Um, I'm going to have to search for artwork that I could use if you just bear with me. Well, this is the upload artwork tool. Um, and then the vectorizer will go through too, if this works. So this is just opening a PDF in here. So if you had any vector files, you could see you could easily recolor these um, and set them over to anything we need or any color that you really need. Um, and in that same vein, so this is just the vector. So A, okay, it pulls in perfectly. Um, and we'll add our artwork again. Let's see if I can pull this up. And so this one, a JPEG. So we'll see how this vectorizer works with the JPEG file. Uh, Rich, I see you asked a question about the blank apparel. Of course, we are restocking those all the time. Uh, they are actually plugged in directly to our supplier. Um, so anytime that they get them in stock, they dump right into our inventory and they're able to be purchased we're straight from there. Um, so uh, some styles, I know we are in a kind of weird time here, guys, with like coming out of the tail end of COVID and we definitely have some supply chain issues. I know hoodies uh, were in a hot commodity there for a while. And currently hats are just so rare to find that the blank apparel hats that are available are just skyrocketing in price. So it is very, very, very hard to find those. But here we're in the artwork uh, vectorizer tool. Uh, you could see that if you are doing like a, um, if you're doing just a uh, ultra color, you could choose the CMYK. Or if you go over to the spot color, uh, this is what we're going to use for uh, the screen printing. And this is what's going to vectorize it. So uh, you could see that some of the text is dropping out here. It's not as, uh, you know, it, it's pulling in the t-shirt fine and the wide, uh, the big text. But some of the small text is pulling in fine. It's going to tell you what your color count is. So it's pulling in the white as well as the blacks. Um, but we could say image quality. You could go to max and uh, then click this reprocess button down here at the bottom. And it's going to run through a little bit of reprocessing. Um, Gino, if you haven't used our system and you're looking to place an order in the next few days, this was the perfect webinar to get into because I went a little bit more in depth than just gang sheets. But I really want to help you guys out and get everything all set and, and you know, really, really set you up for success. Hopefully this vectorizer doesn't take too long. I know now that we're like half an hour over our allotted time frame. So you can see here that using that max, um, it did pull a little bit more text in here. We're still missing the eye, but we could drop that back in with just a rectangle in the actual, uh, in the Easy View Online Designer when we go back in. Now there is also, you can restore defaults or remove the background. So if you wanna remove the background, it pulls the white out of the background. Um, and you could also slide on over to this advanced tab. If you really wanna play around with how this is pulling in, um, you could pull this. So if you wanna refine it, um, and this, this filters out thin lines and you could always click reprocess. Um, but depending on how much, uh, you know, how much uh, detail your image has and what resolution it's saved at is that you have a little bit of uh, 
of, you know, you may have to play with it to get a great result. We'll let this one reprocess. Um, and as it does, I hope that you guys kind of got that good. Um, you got a good, you got a good understanding of kind of what tools we have available. Um, and yeah, so boom, right there. All we did was pull the refine down a little bit. And now you see we have the eye back and we're able to go back into basic and we could move right through and add it to design. And there it is. It's all set up. Now say we wanted all that white gone. You see our swatches here on the left-hand side that it's importing. When you see the exclamation point, you say like, oh no, there's a problem. It's not a stock color, so you have to change the color. Just set it to no ink and it's gone. And there we go. There's our JPEG all ready to go. Let's set this to a straight black and we'll set this to a matching blue. Looks like uh, mid blue or Columbia blue is gonna be it. And that's it. We have our file. It is vector. You could scale it up, scale it down, make it any size you want. Um, you see there's a little stuff uh, carried on to those. Um, and uh, in a file like this, our design team would look at that and probably either question it, say, hey, did you want to keep that around there? Or they would just completely remove that blue for you, knowing that that's just artifacting from the vectorizer tool. Um, Sandra, I would say vector is going to be the best for screen printing. So if you're talking about file type, uh, export from Illustrator or CorelDRAW or Affinity Designer in a PDF format. Um, and that's going to be the absolute best for you to do. Um, and that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I hope you guys learned absolutely so much about our process and our tools that we have available. Uh, I apologize for going just a little bit over our time frame here today. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys are equipped with all the knowledge that you need uh, to have success here in uh, Transfer Express and in your t-shirt business. Joe, Louie, Nancy, Kiana, thank you so much for attending. Um, if you have any questions, we're here to help. Email us, info at transferexpress.com. We're available Monday through Friday um, at 1-800-622-2280. Uh, we have our blog. Uh, you could go online where this webinar is going to be and tons of helpful tips and tricks, inspiration, education, all the way down from t-shirt tips and photography tips to get your product listings looking better to application videos. It's all on our YouTube. If you guys aren't already subscribed, go on over and subscribe uh, to our Transfer Express YouTube channel, transferexpress.com events hyphen schedule is if we're going to be coming to your area very, very soon, um, all over the country, we're hitting the trade shows up this summer and into the fall. We would love to see you out. You could hands on demo uh, a heat press and we're printing shirts uh, for everybody at one of these events. Uh, and then we're teaching classes just like this. Art, thank you so much. Thanks for attending. We hope to see you guys in a webinar coming up soon. Um, but until then, uh, my name is Dave and happy pressing, guys.